Hey, 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 what up, world? It's Decent, and if you see this face, you already know it's Wednesday, and it's another episode of Pop Dust Presents, and my guests at this time just released their new album called Go, and they're here to bless us with some amazing music, flying at the speed of sound and the speed of love. We have... Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds. <laughs> Woo! So what was it like putting together the project and coming out this time around with something not too different from some of the stuff that you've been doing, but a little a different. A little different, yes. I had to kind of work around my newborn schedule because I just had a baby. Uh, <laughs> so Congratulations. Thank you. So my kid was like two months old and I started recording and stuff. So it was a, a little different in that I had to go in like a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And I was kind of working just closely with a producer named Carter. And uh, we kind of formed all the songs and we brought the guys in at, sort of after we had like a formulated idea. So it was di very, very different, but very fun and, and fun to kind of explore different sounds and stuff. So now with you being a mama bird, how's your perception on being an artist now ever since giving birth? Because I hear a lot of times as a woman and as a mother, when it comes to pursuing art, your perspective kind of changes a little bit differently. Has that happened? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, everything changes, like yeah. your perspective of the whole world. So mm -hmm. that includes music, right? The album title, Gold. Yes. Now, very, very understated yet powerful title. What, in, what was the influence behind that? Well, really, it's, um, it's mostly about the song because the song Gold was the first song Same. that kind of formed this this record, sort of the shape that it was going to take and mm -hmm. the space sonically that I wanted to, to go to move from. So I think that it was kind of that, that it was always kind of like the first track, the pioneer track of the record. And also just, you know, a lot of love, a lot of um, the world seems a lot brighter, you know, with a little baby in it. So. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't too much overthinking the title. You Definitely know, not. <laughs> not going in with something very, very, you know, on its head where it's like the meaning of life in 16 right. bars or right. less. Try not to get that deep. At <laughs> the speed of sound where light reflects off of the sun, like none of right. that that's, stuff. Yeah, I mean, you could go there if you wanted <laughs> that's, to. <laughs> that's the EP that's, that's following. Right, exactly. So you guys have done a lot of gigging throughout the last few years, mm -hmm. you know, so. I imagine going from city to city, town to town, you know, you being the only woman in the mix. Um, yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. It gets a little bit overwhelming. It is overwhelming, but yeah. But you as, get, as long as you guys have been together, what is the key to you guys being able to not only create still, but be able to go out and do shows night after night after night? I think it comes down to being comfortable with each other, having a lot of love for each other, even if you sometimes don't want to be in the same room or the same van as them like you still love them and you still want to go out and play awesome music with them and I mean that's my actual Your brother, brother. <laughs> so but the rest of us are really family and it's kind of it's always been a family oriented kind of thing and I think that's what's kept us doing it is the love for the music and each other and that sounds super dorky but it's true but that's honestly the key to making right. a situation like this work because if you don't yeah. love each other and you don't love the music then Eventually, you guys become a very, very sad behind the music story. Yes, it's true. Yeah, you got to be able to communicate and talk to each other about stuff. And, you know, it's not always going to be awesome. Sometimes it sucks, but, but you just keep doing it if you love it. And, you know, that's kind of the bottom line, I guess. So with creating, do you guys ever go in with the same mentality? Obviously, you're not looking for the same source of inspiration. But when it comes to putting the album together, is it always the same format as far as we're going to get this person to do their part first and then we're going to come in with vocals or did you guys do something different this time around? Oh, this time was definitely different. The The other records that we've made have been a little bit more like a, a, in a live setting where we'd all be playing in one room. A lot of the time we'd do some overdubbing but we used to do a lot of that kind of stuff to kind of capture that live sound that we that we have but um, this one because I said I kind of had to work around the baby um, and also I wanted to kind of dive in and just see what my brain would unlock if I was in a room with just a producer and, and see where my creativity would go and uh, and the guys were super supportive of that <laughs> and I came in and and you know crushed on a bunch of songs and stuff so it was definitely very different but we're happy I mean I'm happy with it <laughs> I, I mean it's out now so. <laughs> it's out now it doesn't matter right <laughs> so you would have to have be happy with it just a little bit right right, right. <laughs> but as far as the sound evolving and the way music is as far as a landscape now do you guys ever feel like the type of music that you play with ever get lost because I feel like you guys have 
sort of a timeless sound. You oh, know, thank you. The landscape of music is so wide and so open, but trends go up and down. Mm -hmm. Do you guys find it not necessarily a struggle, but do you guys always keep in mind that even though you have this unique sound, you still have to kind of move with the wave where music is going a little bit? Definitely. You have to um, you have to listen to what's out there now. You have to listen to what you love from back in the day. And you, I mean, that's kind of always been my internal struggle is <laughs> trying to marry those two things. And I, I think this new record kind of does it even more so in that it's like a little bit more pop than the our other you know records and and I love that stuff too so you know it's in there it's it's definitely a genuine thing and I enjoy that kind of music as well and just kind of folding it in like kneading the bread you know <laughs> but. so as far as the song selection did you guys record a whole bunch of songs and just pick or pretty much you guys came in with an executed plan like look these are what we're going to do and this is how it's going to yeah, go yeah it was i worked on a lot of songs at once and a few kind of got chopped at the end because we didn't get to them in time <laughs> so there's a few that'll be coming out hopefully on the next one whenever we start that so yeah it was it was kind of like we did we worked on a bunch of songs at once and then to see like the funnel like whatever makes it through <laughs> by the deadline and that's kind of how it happened so I'm happy with it though. I, I really love all the songs on this record and a lot of them are collaborative with other writers that I hadn't worked with before so it was really fun to kind of explore that and other people's brains and like you know new ideas that I never would have come up with on my own so. So I always wondered like with a situation with you guys you being such a big band is there ever a case where you have to pick which hill to die on when it comes to song selection. Like, yeah, I love this song because of you know my vocals, but I hate the guitar on it. But then it'll be like, I hate the guitar on this part, but I love the bass. So <laughs> is there ever one of those moments where it's like, you guys have to go in a room and pretty much start your own fight club to get music out? I mean, we've had moments. <laughs> but no, it's, I mean, we do a lot of, you know, collaborative arrangements and stuff. I mean, this record was a little bit different, but normally when we, when we arrange stuff for the live stage, we all kind of get in a room and, and you figure it out together and hope that everybody walks out of that room somewhat happy, if not like really happy, hopefully. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely a compromising or you have to compromise rather. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of like the challenge in a good way of working with a whole bunch of people yeah. because you don't become a slave to your own voice a lot of the times and thinking that you're always right. You do have to compromise in some aspects, yeah. but it also pushes you to be better and it also pushes you guys to be a whole lot closer knowing that you can get through Definitely. certain disagreements <laughs> yes. because the creative process is strenuous enough and I can imagine with a whole bunch of different voices and it's never a question of whether it being right and wrong is super intuitive so I'm pretty sure you guys have to keep in mind that your family at the end of the day you don't want to yeah. hurt each other's feelings and just remember that being creative is a very vulnerable thing to do in front of other people Absolutely. especially a lot of people so being able to be vulnerable and not get your feelings hurt at the same time is really it's, that's a big challenge for all of us I know I struggle with that a lot and I think that we over the years have gotten better at that and better at talking to each other about it too you know like don't be mean you know that's pretty easy but it, it sounds easier than it is maybe but <laughs> awesome so we got to hear from Sister Sparrow, and I want to hear from the rest of the Dirty Birds. So I'm going to take this microphone, pass it around, oh, yeah. so we can get some introductions going. Because you guys right here now. Let me just tuck myself have in. very great faces and very great <laughs> instrumentation. So we want the world to know the man behind the music. So there we go. Uh, hey, I'm Dan Boyden. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Oh, hey, Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Um, Andy. I play guitar. <laughs> I'm Jackson. I play lap steel and harmonica. And you have an awesome hat. Thank you. It does have a really good hat. Josh Myers. I play bass and backup vocal. <laughs> oh, boy. And who do we have on piano? Just talk here. Yeah. Oh, okay. My name is Nat Osborne. I play this beautiful all the way around again. Yeah, yeah right. he, he actually bought his own piano this time. I know we have one in the studio on him, but yeah, no, yeah, it took about a good 15 seconds to put together. It just falls out of your pocket, all the Jetsons. So what is coming up for you guys? Like I said, the album just came out. I know you guys are going to be doing shows up the wazoo, but there's anything else like videos, you know, speaking engagements, um, bar mitzvahs. Speeches, yeah. Yeah, we have a video coming out pretty soon, hopefully, um, for Ghost. Ooh. Ah, la, 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 la. A very fun theme on that one. And then we're going to be touring all fall, kind of all across the U.S. Awesome, We're going to be awesome. in a, a lot of the major cities. We're getting back to San Francisco, L.A., Chicago, um, and more. 
I can't remember right now, but I love you, everybody. <laughs> and that's kind of it for now. Uh, and then we'll see, we're going to get back out on tour in the spring and more stuff. Lots awesome. more stuff, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So where can the people find you at on social media? Sisterspare.com, y'all. Also Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everything. Sisterspare, just Google that. We're on Spotify, everything, Apple Music and all the stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for stopping by, giving Thank us you. an amazing yeah. performance. Once Thank again, you. ladies and gentlemen, Sister Sparrow and the Dirty Birds, their new project Gold is out now. Thank you for stopping in for hour one of Pop Does Presents. Once again, I'm your host, Decent. Make sure you visit us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Stick around for hour number two. We have Lex Rex and the Dragons coming up. Peace.